What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this quick video, I just want to show you how to integrate ClickFunnels and GetResponse. I already created a video two years ago on how to do this, but obviously I want to update it uh, so it makes more sense in 2018, 2019. Uh, so here I am in GetResponse. Here I have my ClickFunnels account. So uh, in GetResponse, the first thing we're going to do is on the top right here, we need to click on integrations and API. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the specific API code to your account and we're going to use that to uh, let ClickFunnels know which campaign options we have selected in our get response. So I'm going to click on API here and I'm going to click on copy. Now what I'm going to do is go to ClickFunnels at the top here, click on integrations. Now, I already have a Get Response integration, but I'm going to create a new one just to show you what that looks like. I'm going to select Add New Integration. I will select Get Response from the list. And what you're going to do is just enter the name and, cop and paste the key that you just copied. So there's the key, integration name. I'll say Get Response. I'll say YouTube. And I'll say Add Integration. And there it is, get response YouTube. So this integration is set up, but there is a second step you have to take, and that is on your specific landing page that you're promoting. So let's go back to our specific funnel, which is in this case, let's say test click funnel. And let's suppose this is that landing page I want to integrate. Uh, in this case, I don't have an email form, but imagine I do. Imagine I have an email here and I'm gathering emails. What you have to do is click on integrations here under settings. So as you can see, get response and click funnels changed. So I have to make the slight adjustment uh, in the video. So select your integration. Um, I cover videos where I go over when you should use the HTML form, when you should use Actionetics. Uh, in this case, you'll select YouTube get response. You would select the action. And here you would select the campaign, which would be test campaign one. And it says connected. And over here, you should see a little check mark here. It doesn't look too good, but it's there. Now, all you would do is you would click save, and that is it. You are fully integrated. So just keep in mind if you have, if, if you're creating ClickFunnels split test variations or you're creating different funnels, you have to do this every single time for each of your pages. You have to go into settings, integrations, and go through these drop downs here for every funnel but that big integration we did the general one by going to click funnels integrations that you only have to do once okay so that is it and this is how you integrate your get response autoresponders with click funnels if you have any other questions about this um feel free to let me know down below otherwise if you enjoyed the video leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, strategies, all that good stuff. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.